Door. Key. Dad. Tube. Dorky Dad here. This video I've been wanting to make for a while, uh, well, I say a while, a month. Today is February 1st. I wanted to have this video ready to go on January 1st, but the formatting wasn't right, and I was busy. Um, busy doing a lot of the th moving towards what I want to discuss in this video. This video, as you can probably tell by the title, is 2017 goals. Things that I personally hope to achieve by the end of this year. Now, for those of you that do watch TJ Hunt's vlogs, car videos, things like that, you're saying, hey, this looks really familiar, only shh. Only way worse quality. Well, that's because I pretty much stole this idea from TJ Hunt. But it's a corkboard. Corkboards have been around for freaking longer than TJ Hunt has. Neither here nor there. Now, I said that this is something that I wanted to do at the beginning of the year, but I was busy already working toward my goals at that point. And that brings me to number one. And I know a lot of people are really super private with their YouTube and all that, but this is a picture of my family. Now, I know the giant mouse in the middle is not a member of my family. And I know that I've also covered in vlogs that we're not renewing our passes this year. That's not what this is about. This is symbolic. This picture is of us as a family. And the symbolism of that is going to be that of work-life balance. I, in order to provide for my family, put in a terrible amount of hours per week. Now, a lot of that is spent slacking off. And if my bosses see this, no, it's not. I didn't say that. But my job entails that I do have to be on site One hundred percent of the time that I'm required to be there, that has made it nearly impossible to find a work-life balance. I spend way more hours per day, morning, night, commute, away from my family. I wake up, it's dark. I get home, it's dark. I get to eat dinner with my kids, and then I'm telling them good night. It's not a schedule that I hope for anyone, and I know I'm getting super personal in this, but that is the point of this vlog. These are my personal goals. If you have your own goals, that's great. If you have a perfect work-life balance, that's great. Tell me your secrets. Leave a comment. I'd, I'd love to hear it. It is something that I have to actively work toward, whether that's setting professional boundaries or finding new ways to make time at home. That is something I need to build on and work with, and that is why that is one of my goals. This, I actually ripped out of Ripley's. This is uh, another one of those symbolic things because uh, the last order that I got with, from bodybuilding.com, they sent a magazine and I just spent, I spent way longer than I should have looking for that magazine so that I could cut something out. And the closest thing I could find is a symbolic, just like before, the Hulk. Fitness. Fitness is always going to be one of my goals. And if you've been watching my vlog since the beginning, like I said in the last one, there's only like four people that watch my other vlog. So most people probably don't give a crap because I'm not Bradley Martin. I'm not anybody, I don't know, just, who else is famous on YouTube for lifting weights? Bradley Martin's the only one I know of because I found him through other stuff. Point is, I'm not on that level. I may never be on that level. And I am not saying that this YouTube is going to be dedicated to being a fitness vlog. But it is still personal goal 2017 for myself. I want to be in the shape that my wife deserves. Those of you seen the videos with my wife and my wife is hot. I've covered it before. It's called sitcom syndrome. Fat, less attractive guy, super hot wife. My wife deserves better and I'm going to be that for her. This one, and this is going to be part of my strive towards work-life balance. This is the reason I'm doing YouTube. This is why I am here. This, more symbolism. This is the letter that I got, and I'm not gonna flip it over, I'm not gonna turn around, it has my address and my personal pin number on it. This is the letter that I got from Google that stated before the end of the year, before tax season was over, I had $10 in my AdSense, and I had to have a way to verify my address and access it for tax reasons. It's not much. It's probably nothing at all. It's 1 30th of the price that I spent on my camera. I mean, it's peanuts, literal peanuts, but this is progress. This is stepping in the right direction, and I want that to be higher by the end of 2017. That will help my work-life balance. If I can videotape my family and myself 
being a family unit, having fun together, doing things like that, and people on the internet will watch to the point where advertisers are willing to pay me, that's a goal. That's a goal that thanks to today's digital world is completely and 100% obtainable. And it may end up being more like a second job, and I may not stick to it, but it is a goal of mine that I want to accomplish before this year is over. But it's a goal that I know is going to take time. I know that I'm not going to jump in at the end of 2017 and be completely well off and living off of YouTube. I know that I'm probably never going to be jumping in and living off of YouTube. But in order to reach that point, my goal for 2017 by the end of the year is to have 500 subscribers. Again, my channel is 100% going to be open communication no matter how large I grow, if I grow large at all. If anyone has any ideas, any input, things that you want to see, this channel will be open for your entertainment within reason. Let me know. If you want to have a discussion, I'll pull up a live YouTube because you can now do FaceTime. Well, it's not really FaceTime. You can do a version of FaceTime. You can do live videos that are interconnected through YouTube. I'll pull that up with viewers. I will have chats, we'll talk about life. I don't care. I'm open. Whatever. As long as it doesn't affect my family time. Work-life balance. Goal number one. But this is going right underneath my Google. If I can push that on there. Because at the end of the year, I will, I will be at 500 subscribers. Now, I know some of the other, like the work-life balance, oh, I said this, some of my work on, I am going to, then I'm speaking that now into existence, I am going to be at 500 subscribers before the end of this year. Right there with the next one. It won't focus. I want my first car sponsorship before the end of this year. I actually want a project car by the end of this year, but I'm gonna combine that in with this one because I gotta get this one sponsored first. I put out a GoFundMe page for potential sponsorship. I've put out a lot of feelers. I've done a lot of, I've sent a lot of emails. Uh, I've tried to make a lot of communication. Unfortunately, I started way too late. I was trying to enter the Florida Gumball Rally. My cat's coughing up a hairball, hold on. I was trying this year to enter the Florida Gumball Rally. Unfortunately, I started in January and the Gumball Rally takes place in March. It's an $850 entry fee. And I've spoken enough on money in my vlogs for everybody watching to know I don't have $850 laying around. Not expendable income, not that can be thrown away on something like that. So I started reaching out, I started putting out feelers, I got a few responses, I got some, some positive responses, just not enough to reach the level I needed to be at to do it. So my goal before the end of the year is to have at least one official sponsor for my car moving into 2018 ready for that Florida Gumball Rally. And I'll be 100% honest, if I can get it before that, I will enter another rally. I'm sure Georgia has one, I'll go to Texas, I got friends and family out there. I'll do what needs to be done. My car is a goal, and the gumball rally is family friendly for the most part. I think there's one out in Vegas and then one up in somewhere up north that's not family friendly. But I'll take my son, and this will be a bonding experience because he loves cars too. So, 2017 goals. Team Dorky Dad. And this one is 100% personal and selfish, but I want another motorcycle. I miss mine. I had a Harley. Doesn't have to be a Harley, but there's something about this blacked out fat boy that just, just, just right. I want one. I should have never sold mine. We needed it sold. We had things we needed to do. But this is going to be right up there. And there is, there is a, a common theme here. And it's one that I'm going to touch on here at the end of this vlog. And that theme. financial independence. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses on the fitness thing, but I will say if I wasn't waking up at the butt crack of dawn while it was still dark, I would have more time to get in my morning cardio and then go to work like a normal human being and then come home and have time to go to the gym like a normal human being. But, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and blame work on that one. But other than that, other than my personal fitness, because 
I like food. That's the bottom line. Whatever excuse I have, I like food. The rest of these goals are 100% related to financial independence. The Google one, even though it's about me making more videos, my goal is to do more videos. I want to start doing more vlogs. I want to start doing more day in the life. I want to start doing all of that stuff because every time I say that I want to do that, something happens and I stop doing that. Whether it's putting myself down personally, um, like for example, I had one comment on my Supergirl video uh, and it actually got a crap load of down votes on Reddit. I get not saying that for sympathy. It's just clearly not my niche. This may be the same way. Won't be my niche. May have like two people come in and say that I'm copying TJ Hunt. I wish. I would love to be 22 again and owning my own stuff and being financially independent based on making videos for the magic box that fits in your pocket. You know, whatever. Point is, do what makes you happy and do what you have to do to reach the goals that are going to make you happy. So it may not happen now, it may not happen overnight, it may not even happen throughout 2017, it may not happen in the next five years, but I do have a goal and that is before I'm too old to enjoy it and before my kids outgrow this age where they are loving, heart-filled, just little happy people and become depressed preteens and angry teenagers and all that other crap that I put my parents through, I'm gonna reach the point where I can enjoy it, where they can enjoy it, and YouTube is going to take that journey with me. So, if you're interested, feel free to subscribe. I am still trying to reach 100 subscribers, and I don't want to be that guy at the end, and I'm so sorry that it's coming off that way. But that's going to be how I reach that goal, apparently. It works for other YouTubes. I'm going to put that little thing up there, little circle thing that links to me and my subscription thing at the end, because YouTube does that now. But, but if you watched this far, thank you. If you have any interest in continually watching, be sure to check me out. Subscribe, don't subscribe, do what you gotta do. I'll be here, I'll be posting videos, even if it's for myself. I'm gonna be working toward my goals. Join me. Oh yeah, and as always, stay dorky.